Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie at the Permablend office. I'm here with my colleague and friend, Selena Medina, and she is our compliance and education manager. So there's some word out there that uh, any company using black carbon or titanium dioxide white will automatically turn your brows gray. This is just an untruth, you guys. So I wanna show you uh, mixing black and white, how, how it depends on the formulation, on the balance, on how it's all working together. It's not just, oh, because there's black and white in a color that you automatically have to, to say, no, I can't use it. So this was, I think it came out like three drops of uh, white and one drop of black. It's still black. It's not gray. Um, let's do, you know, five drops. One, two, three, four, five, and a drop of black. I've played with this over and over, and what I'm finding is, is that this is still black. It's just a lighter version of the black. What I'm finding is it took me about 20 drops of white to get to a gray. So yes, if the formulation is not balanced, if your product is not high quality, if your pigments are not high quality, um, and if other considerations are not taken into account, you're absolutely gonna get a, a brow that may turn gray. What I can tell you is, and this is where I'm upset about the messaging that's going around is, as artists, we always need to look at ourselves. We always need to evaluate what we're doing, how we're doing it, right? And so if, if you look at a brand and the brand doesn't have all these pictures of, oh, this brand turned gray, this brand turned gray, and you are using it and it's turning gray, you need to look at your depth of how deep you're putting that pigment in. You need to look at, um, the colors that you're choosing for your client, these are all variables that can absolutely make a color turn gray. And we know that. It's scientifically, we know that. When it goes too deep into the skin, you see it ash out, and this is fact, right? But using black and white does not say that a brown color, because it has black and white in it, is going to turn gray. So, um, Selena is also obviously a tattoo artist. <laughs> and so she's gonna talk a little bit about it too. I just want you guys to feel secure in knowing that this brand has worked very hard on looking at light fastness, looking at pigment load, looking at pigment quality in order to bring you the best and most up-to-date, scientific, thought, really thought about um, how colors age and fade in the skin. And so I want you to feel confident in, in continuing to use Permablend. Well, Anne Marie's talking about the scientific points that we use to actually analyze a color for it to be suitable to put into skin. I want to stop that thought and I want to let you know about something else that we do. Because we're from World Famous and Permablend and World Famous kind of came from the same place, there was a lot of research that was done over the last 30 years talking about the suitability of the pigments and the actual colors that we use into your skin. Now, what some of you may not know as a permanent makeup artist, permanent makeup is just another form of tattooing. And these colorants have been used for at least the last 50 years in tattooing and in body tattooing specifically. They are also exposed to the same amount of sun damage and they're exposed to the same environmental conditions. So we know that these pigments are safe, that they are stable, and that they are not going to shift in their color. So because of talking about the balance of the formulation and the way that Permablend is designed and the type of research that we've done, we are able to say that these pigments age in a certain way. So to assume that just because a color has white or black mm -hmm. in it is not a suitable assessment for trying to say if that is a good pigment to use. So do not focus on just it being white or black in that pigment and let that guide how you choose your pigments. There are different chemical properties, there are different light fast properties, and there's also different uh, aging properties to each one of them. Not all educators are created equally, so it's important to take that into account when listening to somebody's messaging mm -hmm. that has to do with saying if a color is sufficient or able to be used in permanent makeup or in tattooing. 
Take it from us, we're a company that really cares a lot about the research that's put into these products. And we spend a lot of time verifying and ensuring the safety, the quality, and the consistency of these products for you. Absolutely, so if you guys uh, want a company that you know is passionate about the industry, a company, a brand that keeps the integrity of the industry at the forefront of their mind, and a company that was built on family and passion and wanting to do the right thing, Permablend's your brand. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.